Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of someone who's moving on. This is someone who's moving away from a conflictual situation. They're moving into calmer waters, and they're choosing their peace, their mental health, and their well-being. There's an energy of acceptance and moving forward with this card. So let's see. We have the Death card in the reverse, Scorpio energy, the Queen of Cups, Water energy, and the Two of Swords, Air energy. So it looks like you could be surrendering something, someone you love. Like there's this feeling of letting go, you know, with love. There's a compassionate energy here. Like this is someone you have an emotional connection to, but there's this feeling of moving away from them, distancing yourself. Yeah, this could be temporary, but there is just this feeling of prioritizing your mental health and your your, your well-being right now um we we have the death card in the reverse so there's still this feeling of loose ends or unfinished business but right now you could be kind of putting up a bit of a wall from between you and this person because with the two of swords there's an energy of being guarded you know feeling like something isn't safe like you're trying to protect yourself and, they, you know, you may still feel a bit indecisive because your head and your heart could be telling you two different things here. But right now, there's an energy of distancing yourself from the situation. So let's clarify these cards, Taurus. Okay, we have the six of swords again and this is air energy so yeah there's a heavy energy of trying to move on um still carrying a bit of baggage though with the six of swords so let's see we have the queen of wands fire energy the judgment card scorpio energy and the two of pentacles earth energy it looks like this separation this moving away from it's temporary because there's again it's there's a confused energy there's an energy of being a bit indecisive you know taking space but also not fully being out of this you know still thinking a lot about this and with the judgment card you're still here to actually make a decision so you could be taking space to make a decision or to make that final judgment call um with the the judgment there's also an energy of a potential second chance here but for now there's an energy of kind of prioritizing yourself um, putting yourself back on the throne, back on the pedestal. Um, this could be a situation where you are very emotionally invested, but the other person isn't quite what you expected them or wanted them to be right now. And you may feel like you have no choice but to kind of take some space from the situation, um, you know, so that you can feel like you're not lowering yourself in some way. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you. Okay, we have a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra so you and this person it looks like you this this uh parting of ways is temporary because it looks like you will reconnect with this person at a time when you guys can think of like a mutually beneficial outcome here you know something that benefits both parties um but it looks like time and space may be needed before arriving at this point okay so let's see Okay, we have pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so you could be trying to you know be careful like this is the situation where you do feel suspicious there's trust issues there's indecision and there are red flags you know and you may know that you know, your heart may have been keeping you in the situation but there's this feeling of needing to take a step back and really re-examining something here 
Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have White Rose, New Start and Wisdom. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. So it does look like taking space to kind of figure out what you want and whether this is it or not. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Taurus. have surrender obsessive thinking if you're obsessing about a person or situation turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem yeah it does look like it prioritizing your mental health by taking a step back to kind of re recover rethink and surrendering in a way you know giving the situation to spirit okay so that's what i'm seeing for you uh taurus I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.